Greetings, fellow sailors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Sunken Land, Episode Two: Sailboat. Oh, is that a, is that a shark? Yeah, it's a shark. Baby shark. Hello, Sharky. Here, leave me alone. All right. I'll accept it. When you uh, destroy stuff, JD, you don't get back full refunds. So if I did that, which is not to say it's a bad idea, but if I did that, I would, um, I would get back like half as much wood as I put in. Whereas coming over here and stealing hair wood, yeah, why not? Now, if I was really smart, I would have brought the sailing boat materials and just built my sailing boat over here and uh, gone home <laughs> in style on a sailboat. But I was dumb, so I'll be returning home in shame, swimming in my... in my... uh... go-go boots. flops. Alright, well I'm going to have to do the trading, even though there's more stuff to break down because my inventory is just about filled up. Hey, check it out. So, she sells silver coins, which is really a way for you to like, break even. Um, red dot gun sights, a flint pistol. The really important thing, so here's a sea glider. Uh, they call it an underwater scooter. Uh, the, the, the things that are probably pretty important here, antibiotics, because that's the way to heal, and buying it off of her is pretty reasonable to do when you need a lot of them. Uh, electronic parts, as they become a bottleneck later on. Uh, I don't necessarily need to worry about that right now. Uh, batteries as well, because that's how to get your ore detectors and underwater scooters working. Um, chemical substances, which allows you to make um, black powder and gasoline and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to need ballistic fiber for a long time because that's a bit above my uh, my tech level. And then these lung function boosters allow you to dive a little bit longer, which is kind of nice. Um, so for now, I'm just going to do antibiotics and uh, the lung function. Pretty pretty boring trade, but I'll keep looting her her castle here. Her pontoon. Very well decorated. Nope, that's not destructible. I'm just waving my arms around like an idiot. The long pull? Well, it's a short one now. It's gone. How close am I at to the sailboat? Oh, two more cloth? Well, no, that's not true, because I also need a rope. Ooh. Well, you gave me a horse toy. I don't think that's what it's called, but all right. Thank you for the horse toy. Yet is going a little crazy back there. I'm not sure if you've noticed or not. Um, she doesn't even want to buy my horse toy. Is there a way to spice in the pot here for you? So that you can give me anything? Everything is not enough. Well, you'll sell me scrap metal, but like... Fine, I'll buy two 
one wood. Whatever, it will stack. I'm just trying to clear some space out. Oh, Mark, thank you for the bit, the the bits. All right, so we got the black mouth, bandana mouth black, and then bandage boots. Sorry, go go boots, but uh, bandage boots looks better. I kind of like the ski mask. I, I like I like the drapery, and I'll sell these two articles of clothing, free up some space. So what I'm hoping to do is not to return here for a while until I have like actually valuable stuff to sell. I know, the leopard print boots are gone. I'm sorry. But, uh... Maybe I'll find them again. Yeah, ransack the trader's home. You know, if they minded, they would tell me, right? Or maybe she's just so scared of the go-go boot bandit that uh, she don't say a thing. Because she knows snitches get stitches. The thing is, like, I don't see anyone defending. She's not holding a gun. What's stopping me from, you know, liberating some loot? Decency, that, that's what's stopping me. Alright, uh, how close are we? 80%? I see a barrel there. Hit that barrel before we go. So what's happening here is I don't have space for... Oh, it's gasoline, so I'm going to make space. Uh, farewell to... Oh, you know what? I'll just drag that to my bar, which magically doesn't take up space. Alright, 85% looted. That's good enough. Uh, let's swim home. In the night and the cold. Oh, this is going to be miserable. She's probably a max level adventurer and just went to training life. I mean, she does have the blueprints to 50 caliber... Uh, fi bullets, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a fair assumption there, I think. And e Rick, thank you for the resub. So after I build a sailboat, you guys want me to invest in gear, and I will be doing that. Hopefully the baby shark's not after me. Look, look at those long boys. The foundation is just like... All the way down. Same amount of wood. All the way down. How about we cook something so I can actually uh, do away with this horrible lack of... Oh no, the icy is going away. Nice. Let's change my color to purple. Oh yeah, I'm not going to meet clearance here. No, sir. Oh. Uh, no, don't meet clearance. Okay. So you can see the sort of just the design I wanted, which was to have a boathouse. So now let's build around it uh, before I start investing in gear. If I even have enough wood. Sorry, bed. Snap. I was doing some crazy stuff. I think once this base gets done, it will look pretty cool, though. It'll be a minute. 
before that is the case. But me and it'll sail through my base. Should be pretty awesome. Plus, apparently I can stand on the sail itself as a, uh, a valid way to walk, which is kind of wild. So I have an idea to make this... Oops, wrong piece. To make this work, if I build it out this way with pillars, although I'm going to be out of wood, I can have stairs that go up this way so that I can cross over more easily. I like it. All right. Um, next order business. That's all I'll work for now is get um, flippers and a sack. That's the gear that you guys voted on, whether you knew it or not. So the sack helps me hold more stuff, increasing by another row, and the flippers um, will allow me to swim a lot more rapidly, which will help out a lot. So the flippers here cost... I already can make the sack, but I'm going to save... Well, yeah, let's just get the sack now. So for the flippers, the diving fins, um, I need a little bit more cloth. And I need to kill some marlin. And I saw Marlin near the Unknown Ruins, so I'm going to head over there. Where are they? Oh, there you are. I hope you don't mind that I need to slice you up for my my new my new shoes. I'll come back. I won't hurt you unless you struggle. They don't um it might surprise you, but they, they actually don't like getting clubbed to death. Like baby seals. This is a little bit easier to do with a higher DPS weapon. Like a spear or something. A scrap metal spear. Um, but I can make do with what I've got. Well, even a crude axe would be a lot better. Because my starter hatchet does almost no damage, but it will work. I only need two of them killed. Oh, there goes one. And there goes the other. Hey, Lord Tra. Thank you for the reset. But I wouldn't I wouldn't orphan this one. You know, I'm doing it a uh, a mercy making sure it's finished off. Get over here. Come on. Come on, little Timmy. I've named it Timmy. You're trying to drown me, aren't you? Arguably, this would be a lot easier with flippers. <laughs> Alright, you're just trolling me. I'm gonna go get cloth. Get myself a pair of flippers, and then I'll be back. Tally-ho!
was hoping to find washer, dryer, something like that. Something will make uh, finding cloth a little bit easier. That way. All right. The other thing I wanted to ask is what to oh nope. What to do next? And I'll keep gear on the list. My character's going to need some, um, some water soon. I'm hoping to find some in this ruin. Oh, no, I needed the other Marlin skin. My bad. So I need that, that third Marlin and also one more cloth. I'm very close to having the flippers. Yes, there we go. There's the cloth. Now, if I got a little bit more cloth, I could also get the crude axe with a second rope. And a crude axe would allow me to chop and hack a little bit harder. Bringing down marlins and sharks and all sorts of enemies a little bit faster. But it did promise this Marlin I'd be back, and I aim to live up to that promise. So other points of interest down here, not all the points of interest are where you get the ore. So there is, like that right there is, I think, ore that I could mine. Um, an ore detector will make it a lot easier to find that kind of stuff. Gotcha. Uh, but even without an ore detector, once you have a pick, you can start to get it. You just have to find it. That's a little, little trickier. All right, got my diving fins. So my swim speed up pretty considerably, I'd like to think. Marlin steak sounds tasty. Well, I'll make some once I get home. Where's my boat? All right, you guys want me building next. Got it. So now I've got, uh, the sack, the flippers, that'll help me move around a lot faster. And with the flippers, I should be able to get to other islands as well. Um, another good thing to do, considering most of my structure is so far made out of wood. Oh, that is so nice. Never going to have wet feet ever again. Well, that's not true. So I just ate a bunch of strawberries because, um, because, uh, I didn't have any liquids to drink and strawberries are hunger and thirst. It's kind of a nice shortcut.
So if you want me building, I already got the repairing hammer. I don't need a fishing rod. I'll just save this for the scrap metal armor. Put all the stuff away. At some point, I'll organize. Uh, there are uh, there are storage containers that are high capacity, made of just scrap metal, and that will be really easy to to store stuff. I think my best course of action uh, to be able to build a little bit more of the base is to go to another island with a bunch of trees. Uh, but the closest island to me that has a bunch of trees also has a bunch of enemies. So it will also have a little combat. Um, and if that is something I intend to do, I probably ought to get maybe a crossbow. That could be that could be fun. So yeah, I'll work on building, but building will require me to have a crossbow. Let's get that rope out. Done. And I suppose while I'm standing here, it might not be a bad idea to um, to start walling things up. Huh, my boat is getting thrown about a bit. I just took my painkillers. That was bad. Didn't mean to hit that key. Painkillers are much better to save for combat. Or antibiotics, whatever it's called. Alright, the island right behind the trader uh, looks to have a bunch of trees. Yeah, so we'll... Well, actually this one is even closer. Collect wood by taking over another island. Yes, in true pirate fashion. So these some islands are full of some islands are built up like the trader one. And then some islands are more natural resources. The natural resource ones, you're going to find wood and ore. Whereas the other ones, you'll find like clothing and gasoline and things like that. Hello, sir. Oopsie. I didn't realize you had such a fragile skull. Who wants to stop me? You do? I don't think you're going to stop me. Oh, you are going to. Oh, look at you. You, you, way tougher than your uh, compatriots. But even you bite the dust. The combat music will change uh, once this area has been made safe. That was a big old miss. You can see I haven't played first-person shooters in a while. Arrow to the knee? I could do that. Here. Arrow to the shin. That's eh, close enough. There's the music change. So, and also the island is now white, not red, meaning that I have killed everybody on it.
And that was the first faction I, uh, I found, which is the mutants. And now they own one fewer islands. I came, I saw, and I conquered. Midi Vici. Pick scrap metal, okay. Because this is iron ore, which would be nice to collect. But I don't have any scrap metal on me. Maybe I can scrounge some up here. Hey, uh, how would I say your name? Ox. I'm going to call you Ox, even though that is obviously not your name. <laughs> but now I've got myself a lovely island that grows trees, and it's mine now. Hello, crab. I also have a crab friend. Who's dead? Oh, Idea. Okay, your name is Idea. Cool. Yeah, there's a car here. Yeah, they're a dumpster. I should be able to get some scrap metal to be able to get uh, enough to... When life gives you lemons, eat them raw. So gross. Oh yeah, yeah I'll definitely have the pick too. Which is funny because I don't have a smelter. Uh, so if you're wondering, the, the combat gets way harder than what you just saw. Uh, I was fighting, like, naked mutants. They're very easy to kill. Um, some of the enemies are in combat gear with, like, high-powered rifles. This is just the first of the types of enemies to find. It scales up, uh, I will have you know. Oh, a motorboat blueprint. And also my first pair of pants. If you're wondering, the motorboat costs rubber components, but it also requires gasoline. So unless I feel very comfortable with the amount of gasoline I have, uh, you know, sailboat moves pretty fast. There's my pickaxe. But I was here for building. So I'm only going to get a little bit of iron ore, leaving most of the iron ore still on the island, just so that when I have access to be able to smelt, I have something to smelt. But I'm going to fill the rest of my inventory with wood so I can build to my heart's content. It's also worth noting that most of the initial uh, resource, like cooking, uh, dis uh, water, desalination, all that stuff requires fire, which requires wood. So make sure to have a little bit of extra wood for... Cooking and fires and the like. Hey, HK. Thank you for the resub, too. Y'all are too kind. But I should be able to fill out a lot of the base uh, with what I've got now. Uh, the boat has a magical anchor, yes. When you pull the sails up, it doesn't move. Unlike Raft, anyone that's played Raft, <clears throat> I think it was a standard experience playing Raft when you're like, oh god, I don't have an anchor, and like your Raft sails away without you faster than you can swim. I 
Happened to me. Happens to the best of us. Mm, lemons. Lemons are ac actually part of a uh, a pretty good, useful recipe later on. Uh, a salad recipe, of all things. The TLDR is like the meat-based recipes usually add to your max life, whereas the uh, the farmable stuff adds to your stamina regen. Oh, you can actually, from here, I can see a dude standing on that platform out there. Wait a year and it seals back to you? <laughs> That's true. I forgot that, that uh, Raft, you can sail around the world. I mean, it would take you a very long time, but it's technically possible. Will the crossbow go that far? I have no idea. And thank you for the resub. I could try. I, I'm pretty sure there's bolt drop though. Cause there's hit markers for when you hit things. So all I know is I didn't hit it. Uh, one more treat. Juggle! I'm gonna juggle this plank all the way back to my boat. Yeah, You're coming with me! Oh, uh, okay. I don't want carpal tunnel. I decided one plank or carpal tunnel, I'd rather have the... Lack of carpal tunnel. Ooh, I can catch the wind. Oh, it's also worth noting, the uh, sailboat um, goes a ridiculously fast speed. <laughs> I'm like nearly highway speeds. <laughs> And I have sailed in sailboats about this size, and what I can tell you from that experience is even going like 30 miles an hour in a sailboat this small would feel harrowing. So the fact that it says that I'm going like 75 kilometers an hour. Uh-huh. Your first car wasn't even that fast? <laughs> My car's not even that fast now. I mean, it is, but... Not by a huge margin. Uh, all right, let's continue building. So I was hoping uh, that actually might not work. Oh, uh, no, I wasn't doing that. I was doing this. Durr. I already forgot how I was building. Yeah, okay, this will work. Because I've just harvested so much wood, I'm not going to make the interior of my base uh, metal. I mean, I could, but I prefer the wood. I just, how am I supposed to know if the ladder's up correctly? I'll just assume. It's, it's close enough that I'm not falling. That's all I care about. So the plan is, this area that I'm standing on now will have my, like, planters, where I can grow stuff. Because, yeah. Oh, and I'm being attacked. So the combat music here indicates that I am under attack by another faction. Probably the mutants, because they just kind of slaughter them. I hear walking. Oh, yeah. Hi there. 
Yeah, they just got in because I don't have full walls. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Hee <laughs> hee, stole your loincloth. I know where you keep that cloth, and I'm going to let you keep that cloth on your body for now. I don't want to see you without it. Oh yeah, there- oh! You even came with water! Yoink! Oh, the naked- oh no, there you are. But don't worry, I will eventually have walls up. It's in the plans, it's in the plans. The combat that you get attacked, like, that was a really small raid. I'll just phrase it like that. Then They're not always small. They they ramp up as you progress in the game. Or sometimes it's like a horde. All right. I wonder if that's a vulnerability of being cl climbing up here. I mean, the, the enemies aren't, like, that dangerous that I have to worry about things on that granular, granular level. But still. Um... So I'm trying to build a lovely view, not to obscure the view. There we go. A bed? I, I suppose, I destroyed my last one. Let me go get some cloth. No, I don't have cloth. So, no, no bed. No sleep. Only work. Uh, if you're wondering, there is the fireballs. No, I don't have enough wood for that, but I could do a standing torch. So let's, uh, let's put a standing torch down so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Although it's already getting light out. And the standing torches, fireballs, and lanterns, I don't believe require fuel, but the bonfires do. It does It does need wood. Uh, the other thing I could have done is just added uh, food to the stove. Like, marlin, right? I said I'd cook up some marlin. Let's cook up some marlin. And then the fire would light, and, and I'd have a light source as well. A two-for-one. So the plan is to have... Uh, uh, planting planters out here on the ledge on the balcony that's above the level that enemies will typically attack and then let's get a roof on um hmm I will actually do a roof rather than flooring I don't think there's functionally much of a difference if you're wondering just an aesthetic one And the mouse wheels uh, rotate, if you were wondering. Okay. I still have more wood. I'm actually gonna move the grill 
so that I can put a ladder on the other side. Nice and symmetrical. How far back did I put this? Dang it, where's my torch? So maybe a third of the way back, that tile? Eh, it's not perfect. Doesn't snap, if you're wondering. But I don't fall through it, so that's all that really meant. Oh, I can't walk down it, though. On either side. All right, perfectionist to me is going to want to fix this. So if I put it just over the one tile, that works. Okay, I'll do that for the future. All right, nice. I can actually walk about. Um, that is all I'm gonna do for now. Or rather, I'm gonna give you like one more minute to vote on next goal. Um, but you can start to see the structure as it's taking form. Um, and then the last thing I wanna do before picking up the next task is to add some more metal walls down here. So that the creepers can't just like appear into my uh, base. Thank you for tuning in to Sunken Land, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, a link can be found in the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow survivors, 